I'm going to show you now how to set up um, in-house diagnostic imaging tests. So if I click on the parallel bar, I click on menu, I click on file, then I'm going to click on EMR, labs DI procedures, and then I'm going to click on diagnostic imaging. Okay, so I know that I have a patient coming in with hypertension, so I'm going to make sure that my EKG is set up. And if I check my in-house, it's not displaying in the list. So if I change it back to both, I'm going to search for my EKG. So in here, EKG, I'm going to click on the pencil. And remember, just like before, same workflow, click my in-house tag. I'm going to go to add and add my CPT code. Click OK, select it, click OK, and again, up at the top, I like to add my in-house flag so that it displays differently than all the other tests ordered. It kind of stands out. And just as a reminder, what are in-house tests? In-house tests are tests that are done and performed in the office while the patient's still there. So you want to make sure that you bill for those items. And that's why we set it up this way. So I'm going to go to my next patient, and I'm going to order it. So I'm going to go to Timothy Test. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click on Treatment. Same workflow, only this time I'm going to choose Diagnostic Imaging. And again, I have the ability, right, to search by in-house, and my EKG will show up. Or if I change it back to both, I also have the ability to select my star, which indicates favorites. Oops, look, I didn't do it. So I'm going to come back, click in-house, oops, and here's my EKG. Once I click my EKG, the code shows up. And if I X out of this window, and I go down to the bottom of my progress note to the billing section. Here's my code. Again, I'm going to make an attempt to create the claim from here. Perfect. So the same thing that is going to occur for your labs as well is do you see how your in-house, it shows up here in your upper right-hand corner that an in-house test was performed. That's an indicator that you should also look for a CPT code. If this displays without a CPT code, then it means it was not set up correct. Now, if I go back to my menu, back to where I was to diagnostic imaging, again with that EKG, how do I make it a favorite? I simply click on the star. So I forgot to show you that earlier. I apologize. It's very easy in the E version to set your favorites. So now I'm going to go, and now I'm going to show you how to set up your um, in-house procedures. So again, I start from the beginning, click on my parallel bars, whoops, go to my menu, I go to File, EMR, and I go to Labs DI Procedures, and now I'm going to click on Procedures. So in here, I know that I have a patient coming in for um, a suspicious lesion, so we're looking to possibly do a lesion removal. And in this window, the screen looks different, right? It doesn't have a lot of the same um, filters, but it only allows two, so starts with and contains. Now that's the one I like to use because now it's going, I can type in just lesion and anything that has lesions in it, whether it's removal, destruction, they'll all show up. So I'm going to type in lesions, okay? So the only thing I have is a wart removal, right, um, for up to 14 um, lesions. But that's not what I want. What I'm looking for is a destruction of lesion. So I'm going to go to new. And in here you can type in this box, but it won't pull up anything. You have to click the select button. And I'm going to put in my code. 17000, which is dest destruction of a lesion. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to click OK. 
Now, once I'm in this window, you see how it displays here, but that's not, you still, it's like a two-step process in order to get that CPT code to link to the in-house procedure. And in that respect, it's just a little bit different from how you set up in-house labs and in-house diagnostic imaging. So in this window, I mark in-house, right, and I click Save. Once I click Save, then the bottom half to allow me to link the CPT code shows up. You have to, it's in a sense, search for that CPT code twice. So now I'm going to go to Add, and now I'm in the CPT code listing, and I'm going to find my destruction or destruction of lesion here, and I'm going to click it, and I'm going to link it. And if I click OK, again in this, right, you can just like the other things, you can put, if you want, the in-house flag just so that it separates from the note and it makes it stand out. If I click OK. So now if I take this out and I put in, again, I search for lesions, right? Sorry, I can't type. Here's my destruction of lesions, right? So now I'm going to go and order it for a patient. So if I go into my S jelly bean, and now I'm going to click on my next patient, Tony. And again, he already has a diagnosis set up for a lesion, right? So I'm going to go to treatment. And now in treatment, I'm going to click my procedures. Again, if I click on in-house, Right, and again, it's not, I still have to search for it because it's not displaying. I mean, it is right here, but I could also, right, do my contains and I could search for lesions this way. So here it displays, and I don't believe I added it to my favorites either, but I could do that um, as well. So in here, I'm going to click on it to order it. And here it shows my lesion, and it shows me my diagnosis and my CPT code. So I'm going to X out of this window, go down to my billing, and here's my code. You can also, in the setup piece, associate more than one code, but in this particular case, it only requires one. I'm going to create my claim. And again, it shows that there was an in-house procedure done, and it links my code. Again, it's just important if this flags and there's no CPT code, then that warrants you double checking how it was set up. So I'll cancel out of there. I'll go back to my menu and I'll go back to procedures. And again, if I put in my lesions or my destruction, Right, I can also build it as a favorite again in this area by adding it to my favorites. And then when I'm in the treatment window, it will um, bring up my favorites. Go back here, go back to my procedures, click on my star, and here it is. Perfect. All right. So that concludes my um, setup for my in-house um, labs, diagnostic imaging, and procedures.